afternoon. This is Bill Biederman from the Commodity Trading Desk at the Allendale office. It is Terrible Tuesday, just uh, preempting China Wednesday, and it is May 25th. Traders came into a rat's nest today. World concerns about four more banks in Spain merging their troubles away, as well as the Bank of Ireland losing 11% in stock value overnight just shook the financial industry like an earthquake. Then increased tension in the Korean Peninsula as North Korea ordered its military to ready for war in response to the U.S. Korean plans to conduct a military exercise in the same location that the South Korean warship was sunk by North Korea's torpedo in March. Both of these rather large news stories caused the dollar to climb back to contract highs at 87.55 Adding to this news was <clears throat> that China was done buying soybeans for the near term as they reported a two-month inventory uh, being very high and reports of blue ear disease, which is our PERS, threatened feed needs. Well, after the emotion of the above news uh, traded for a while at much lower prices, a short-lived rally did occur as bottom pickers came into the market on the idea that North Korea always says that they're readying for war and China always says they don't need anything but then turn around and buy. Well, that might be true, and it did rally. Uh, a little bit, but the rally did not last long. Going into the close, soybeans declined six cents in the last 60 seconds, and the wheat market declined eight cents in the last 30 seconds of trade. <clears throat> we did close corn at 364 and a quarter. That was down six and three quarter, but the key is that 362 did held hold, and that's been a pivot point for about the last three weeks to a larger range that's traded between 354 and 380. Uh, the crop is off to a great start, but we will need China demand and some adverse weather to get this market to turn back north. Otherwise, right now, we'll stay in the middle of the range, might even test the low end. Over in the soybeans, we closed at 930 and a half. That was down 10 cents. The trend is down, and 950 is now going to become resistance. A close below the 930 level, which is right where we closed, will uh, confirm our objective of 914 on the short positions that we have on at this time. Biofuse credit should pass tonight, and uh, that could provide a little bit of support. Uh, weather and Chinese news is going to be the main things that traders are looking at. Over in the wheat market, we closed at 460 and a half. That was down seven cents. The world market remains down at 440. So we really so see no reason to chase rallies right now in the wheat as plentiful supplies should push us down there. Over in the cattle market, we closed at 9035. That was down 77 on ideas that a lower and crashing Dow futures market will keep uh, demand at bay as uh, consumers try to uh, hoard their money rather than spend it on delicious beef. Kansas traded at $94 and uh, dressed beef was at a buck uh, uh, 150. Those were all lower trades. Outside market pressures pushed markets in the futures really a, a lot lower and from a fundamental standpoint the summer futures uh, have like the June and the August have already factored in a lot of the lower prices that we expect in the cash market. Over in the hog market we closed at 81.20 that was down 67 cents. Commodity liquidation is been the word in the hog pit. Uh, cash hogs were also lower in negative territory, but the packers uh, have no problem getting hogs right now, and that's adding to the pressure of the market. Not only are there holiday slowdowns that are coming up, but the voluntary packer uh, reductions have backed up some supplies. The uh, d the dollar is currently trading at 86.83. That's about 50 higher. And uh, strength continues on European contagion uh, fears that are going to slip over here and cause our banks to get in trouble again. But right now, today's high in that 87.55 area does look like a double top potential on the chart. If we get through that, then the uptrend uh, will continue. The uh, crude oil is currently trading at 69.17. That's down a dollar three. Demand is soft for crude oil, and the fund traders who earlier bought due to risk accumulation and inflation-based recovery theory are now selling those exact same positions on risk aversion, and moving that money to a safe haven like the dollar in the gold market. Well, that's all we have for you today. It's been a wild day. We expect more exciting trade tomorrow. Give us a call at 802-MARKET if you want to get involved in any of these trades. And uh, it, our website, if you want to look us up there, is allendale-inc.com. Have a great day.